Hi folks, Jason in the shop again. I wanted to tell you a little bit about this cool tool for today. This is a North Brothers 1545, or a Yankee, um, ham drill. And this thing has all kinds of awesome features. I'm going to tell you all about it uh, in just one second. Okay, for starters, this thing is massive. It is a big old, big old boy. Uh, it has a side handle, a top handle, which is removable. So I'm assuming that you could put a breast drill type thing with a, a curved portion. But with this big pad, you can you can get up against your chest all right if you need to for bigger stuff. Um, it has a nice big, big chuck on there. Um, I think that goes up to at least a three eighths, maybe maybe a little more. Um, and then the coolest thing about this, if you notice in here. All of these fancy gears doing stuff, and these gears do all sorts of things. Let me get a close up. You can see real close there. Camera will adjust there. These gears, and this has a selector switch. Anybody seen a uh, one of their um, one of the Yankee uh, Yankee drills, the push drills? It has, looks pretty similar, um, a similar kind of thing. I know it's really hard to read those on there, but basically, we want to show you what those do. Uh, there's also some oil holes here, but this selector switch here, you can move between all the different selections. Also on the flip side here, is another switch right here um, that you can flip as you need to. And um, what this one is, is a speed selector. So you've got the high speed right here, and then you flip it here, it's a low speed. Higher torque, low speed on the lower here. Lower torque, high speed. Depends on what kind of bitch putting in there. Now on the back side here, what we're going to look at here, in the position it's in now, it's plain. It's just like any other egg beater drill. You turn it this way, it goes to the right. Turn it this way, it goes to the left. Same as any other bit. Now what this one does do though, it also has ratcheting functions. So we move it down one. This is going to be the left hand ratchet. So you can hear it ratcheting. And uh, there you go, you can hear it ratcheting. Also has a right hand ratchet. So ratchets the other way. And it also has, let's see here, let's get it turned. This is great. Here, this is my favorite one. It's got a double ratchet. So no matter which way you turn it, it continues to turn the bit. Round, 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 round. Which is really great when you're in a tight spot. And then it has a spindle lock. So if you really need to tighten down and crank down on the bit to get it in there tight, you can lock the spindle. So, all of those features are, of course, uh, available with both speeds. So you get a left and a right hand and a double ratchet, all in the slow speed and the high speed, and the different torques. You know, the, uh, the slow speed has more torque, the high speed has less torque. Uh, and you're using that, of course, for different bits. So, let's uh, see just a little bit of this sucker in action. Okay, so here we are. We're just going to drill a small 1 8 inch hole for a screw. Just run it right on around here. And this is high speed. You want to run this high speed. There we go. Because it's a little bitty bit there. Uh, so let's pop that out of there. And we'll trade over to another bit and do a larger hole. Now this is a Forstner bit. And it'll turn a Forstner bit. Now it's actually a fairly large um, bit there. But we can still probably do it on the high speed. I'll show you the difference here high speed. Now if we flip this switch over here on the side, we've got more torque. But you see how much slower that's running. Okay, so we're looking at this screw here putting in and um, right now this is the plane. So you go backwards, pull it out of this way to put it in, whichever. Now if we want to use some of the mechanical advantage here, let's put it in left hand torque uh, ratchet. So basically see how this goes around here? Nothing happens. But when you go this way, it turns. Now that's useful if you say you need to pull from here and you can get a lot more torque pulling out there. This screw's already already out, it's not a long screw. Um, same thing with the right hand ratchet. So we're going in, and let's say as we come around, it gets hard to push it down or maybe hard to pull it up. But you can just go like this and work it like that. Or maybe push it down this way. You know, I'm, I've hit the top here. Now I can really even torque that on, screw on down in there, just like that. And with that much torque, 
Let me see here. There we go. Now, let's get it back out of there a little bit. So we'll go back to the left hand ratchet. There we go. Now, let's try it in a fresh hole, undrilled. And we're going to do this with the double right hand ratchet, which is my favorite feature on this thing. So, no matter which way we turn, this screw is pretty aggressive. So, here we go. Push forward and back. And this is where I find a lot of my torque. I push back and forward right here. You go all the way around, it gets a little harder to pull at certain times. Down in there, it gets hard to pull. But if you're up here, you can just go back and forth and push that screw right on in. Now, I'm using the low speed setting, which will give me a little bit more torque on this thing. See, I still can't get it out there. I'll have to take the drill out and change it back, maybe to plane, in order to get this thing back out of here. Oh, loosen my drill bit. <laughs> yeah, that'll do that. That's one of the reasons why you can lock this spindle. So you can actually put a wrench down here where the square is and really lock that in if you want to. There we go. Pull it right out of there. Now I find the side handle's not very useful. Um, I'm not sure what it would be good for, but I don't find much use in it. Um, but again, for driving screws, things like that, the low speed is the way to go. But you can really kind of get an idea how this thing works. Here's a, another drill bit. You can just see how good, how fast it will drill a hole in this. This is maple here. Now that's low speed. Let's go back to high speed. You see the difference there? Now let's flip it back to low speed. Cranking just as fast, but it's not going nearly as fast. So let's go back over here. Let's see how much faster that drills the hole through. So, this, again, is the Yankee uh, Double Ratcheting 1545, made by North Brothers Manufacturing. Patent dates go as late as 1910, and a really cool, beautiful old tool here. So, if you find one of these, they're lots of fun, good, useful tool to have around. Pick it up, you won't be sorry. Thanks. See you next time.